Hi, here is the Veskis GPS presentation. Um, I have uh, bought a few of uh, different kind of uh, GPS trackers and uh, I found this one to be the best. Um, it's quite small as you can see um, and uh, has a long standby and uh, it also got uh, it also sends the uh, the cell ID the, from the cell tower uh, together with it. Uh, but I will just leave, make, make a quick presentation of uh, how to um, to start with it and um, the best thing is to simply charge it up uh, as the beginning and um, and then wait until it's uh, fully loaded and uh, when that is done then you have to or you can do it at the same time you have to uh, take take the take the sim card out of it and then uh, uh, prepare it for um, uh, not to use the pin code when you boot up so if you take the sim card out and then um, put it in a standard cell phone like this here swap it into here boot up the phone and then uh, make sure that you can boot this phone or the another phone with uh, without having to enter the pin code and when then it's done and uh, you can um, put it back and then you're ready to go so the first thing that you have to use uh, uh, some kind of uh, cell phone and um, this one is uh, is uh, Android Samsung smartphone and uh, the first thing you can do is to write the uh, begin one two three four five six to it then you should get a response in a few seconds with uh, just saying uh, OK. That's the reboot command. Now it says uh, begin OK. Uh, then we can uh, set the time zone. Time zone. And the secret password. Space 2. Oh. Minus three or whatever you use. Then we send that one. And it should respond to time okay. Time okay, it's here. And then we can send the the command to get the GPS position. And um, I have uh, saved that in the clipboard. So I just make a long press and set it in here. G123456 and a number sign and then off we go then uh, if it have just been taking the GPS position then uh, it will respond very quickly otherwise it will take a little while uh, you can see the, the blue and the green uh, lighten up in the side the, the GPS tracker and here we got the position and it says uh, here you have to uh, make sure it says B colon A. That means uh, uh, that's an exact position. That's the active position. If it says V colon V, it's an old saved position from last time it got the GPS position. But this one is uh, is good. Um, and uh, we can see in this, what we can see here in this. Uh, uh, display is that we have the a link to uh, Google Maps with the uh, longitude and latitude B colon A that means it's a good signal the date uh, when uh, the command was sent N not when the GPS was found but it's now it says uh, the time now then uh, we are moving at uh, one uh, kilometer per hour that's not real correct but um, because I'm just staying here the battery is 100% the the EMI number of the uh, SIM card is that one and the S13 G06 I don't know what that is but uh, uh, it's not very useful but uh, the last one L colon uh, 22022 and C colon um, 30 uh, four, uh, 33 is um, the, the cell the cell tower 
the, it's the cell ID of the uh, of the uh, cell tower I'm just using right now. And that's very useful because if you could click that, you will can, can save a database uh, where if you got a, you got a, a, a SMS response from the GPS, uh, but uh, a we call on we that you have no GPS signal, then you will know that okay. Uh, it's in the area of that cell tower uh, my GPS is uh, located right now but uh, with this uh, menu I can just click here uh, and ac accept to go to the link and then it will show up a map and uh, tell me where I am and um, let me go back to here and uh, this message says can be uh, forwarded uh, if you install another program uh, what I have done is that I, I take a have uh, installed a program called uh, relay me and uh, it sends all the messages I got from from the GPS further to uh, an, a specific email address where I collect where I collect uh, all the position and the database and uh, with all the uh, data collected, I can show it on a map and show a path of uh, all the position where I, I got from, uh, from today. And, and then I can draw a map showing uh, where the GPS has been all the day. So that's fairly uh, how you can use it. You can also use uh, GP, GPRS, uh, but I haven't tried that. Uh, it's very good uh, protected with um, with uh, uh, this uh, rubber thing here. Here you have the the charging for a, a micro USB, and here is the SIM card. And um, but one thing you should avoid is uh, to put it into a washing machine because um, I tried that and. Uh, then I got the opportunity to break it apart because uh, it cannot take a washing machine. But this is how it looks inside. Here is uh, the little button you can press and you can uh, send a SOS signal with that. And then you have the SIM card is sitting here. And then the battery. That's almost what's inside here. So uh, that's how it looks. Yep. But this is a, I find this a good uh, GPS tracker. It's very small, lasts for more than a week. Uh, it's specified to have a standby time at uh, 300 hours. I haven't tri tested yet fully, but um, uh, it's uh, lost, uh, lasts very long, a long time. So I hope you enjoy it.